A man is shown at the forest at the start of the film. This man is desperately trying to escape the forest, appearing frantic. The forest is so dense that there seems to be no way out. The man continues moving forward, even though the sun has already set. While running, he came to a point where a fairy skeleton had written, point of no return means no one can go back from here. Looking at this board, the trouble was clear on his face. The darkness deepens and all the birds fly away. There was no place to hide. This man was scared, so he climbed up the tree. Unfortunately, he fell from such a high tree. Before he fainted, we see that someone pulled him. Who was pulling? It was not shown, but we heard his painful screams. The scene cuts, and after six days, a girl named Mina is shown in the city. Mina had no friends or family except a sister. The owner of pet store she was working at gives her an order to drop a parrot in the zoo. Mina picks up this parrot and takes it home because she had to go to the zoo the next day. She spent the night with this parrot, and then in the morning, she left for the zoo with this parrot. While walking on this long road, she suddenly took a wrong turn and reached the middle of the forest. This was the same place where we had seen a man disappear earlier. She used her car to go inside the forest, but when she did not know how the way out, she had to get out of the car. She thought that there must be someone nearby with whom she asked for help. She takes her parrot and starts moving forward. The darkness was also getting deeper. Suddenly, all the birds fly away from these trees like before. Mina was now scared because the ground was shaking. She felt like someone was near her. An old woman was running away from her. Mina followed her while running. She was asking for help, but the woman does not stop and keeps running. When Mina got tired of following her, she stopped there. When she stopped, the old woman called her and said, if you want to live, run fast and come to us. As she heard this, Mina returned to the old woman and the old woman held her hand and brought her to a house. As she came home, she locked this house. This was not a house, but it was a strange room in which there was a huge mirror. There were two other people with this old woman, Mina asked them in fear. What is this place? They do not respond and tell her to stand in front of the mirror because someone was coming to see them. Mina asks, who is coming to see? The old woman, Madeline replies, watchers are coming to see us. Suddenly, strange noises started to be heard here. The old woman said the watchers are happy that you have come. They are clapping for you, Mina was confused. The watchers that Madeline was talking about, neither have they been shown in the movie, nor did Mina or anyone else see them. Anyway, the night passes and they come out of this place in the morning. Madeline says these watchers only come out at night. During the day, we can roam freely in the forest. Mina did not want to stay in this forest. She goes ahead to get out of here. But Madeline says this is not a good decision of yours. There is no way out of this forest. We have to come back to this house before night. If you are late, you will lose your life. Mina does not listen to anyone and keeps moving forward with her parrot. As she moved forward, she was shown the same sign point of no return. She was scared to see them, but like the previous boy, she kept moving forward in the direction of the sun, but could not succeed in getting out of the forest. Suddenly, she felt a tremor under the ground. She got scared and ran back to the house she had lost. Here, Madeline encourages her and says not only you who tried to get out of here and lost, we have also lost and stayed here like you. There is no way out of here. This forest brings souls to its side and then shows strange things to humans. It can also make you crazy, so if you want to stay alive, then stay with us. This forest is a hunter and we are all its prey. Madeline shows her a lot of signboards with the point of no return, which were placed in a round circle in the forest. Madeline says they are half a day away from our house. If you go ahead of this, it will be difficult to return. So whenever you see them, do not ignore them. Mina asks who made all this. She replies, it was made by a professor. It is night, they come back to that house. Every night watchers used to come to see them. Today, a girl named Kira dances in front of them and says she likes all this. It was not like these four had to stand in front of watchers every night, they could do whatever they wanted, but could not turn their faces to them. At night, they only had a problem with watchers, but during the day, they even had to face a lot of difficulties. They used to hunt something from the forest every day with which they used to survive. The next day, Kira and Mina go to the forest to collect food. Mina asks Kira, 
What do these Watchers want? Kira replies, I don't know much, but Madeline has a theory, according to her. These Watchers see us, observe us, but if we see these Watchers, we will go crazy. Kira shows her a pit and says there are many such pits in the forest. During the day, all these Watchers live in these pits, and at night, they come out. Mina tells Kira that they have been trapped here for six months. Kira's husband has gone to the forest to find a way. She hopes that he will definitely find a way back, and they will be able to get out of here. We know that actually Kira's husband was the same man whom we saw at the start of the movie who was taken away from here. Upon returning home, Madeline explains to Mina three rules to stay alive here. First, that she will not open the door of her house at night. Second, that she will not turn her back towards the mirror at night and third, that she will not go near those holes during the day and she will stay in the light. Now this night, Mina wanted to know about those watchers. That's why she tries to listen with her ears to the sound of the mirror. When she can't hear anything, she turns her back towards the mirror and by doing this, those watchers got angry. They start hitting the mirror hard. In fact, there is even a crack in the mirror. Madeline also gets up because of noise and she tells Mina to stand towards the mirror. By doing this, their anger could have cooled down. Anyway, this night also ends, and the next day, Mina goes on a hunt with Daniel. Because Mina didn't want to waste her good days here, that's why she was preparing to leave. She asks Daniel, Have you ever seen a watcher? Daniel answers, No. Then Mina explains to Daniel that I think these are all Madeline's made-up stories, in which she is trapping us. We should go and check these holes. Maybe we will find a way to get out of here. Daniel, who wants to escape, listens to her, and now Mina ties a rope with her and gets inside the hole. Daniel holds the other end of the rope so that if anything happens to Mina, he can quickly pull her out. Mina reaches the hole where she finds a lot of human stuff. Mina collects this stuff. It must be the stuff of humans trapped in the forest. With the help of the rope, Mina and Daniel get the stuff out, and before Mina gets out of the hole, she sees someone's fingers inside the hole. She couldn't see what it was, but she got scared. They took all the stuff and came to their safe house, where Madeline asked her where did you get this stuff? They lied that they got this stuff from the forest. Madeline had been living here for a long time, and she knew that she didn't get this stuff from the forest, but from the hole. She keeps asking Mina, tell me, what did you see inside the hole? But Mina doesn't tell her anything. Now they also got a camera from the hole. They turn this camera into a CCTV camera and put it outside the house so that they can also see the watchers. Madeline keeps explaining to them that you are doing wrong, but they don't listen to her. Today, they were waiting for the watchers so that they can see them. The watchers hadn't come yet, but today something strange happens to them. Their door is knocked. They see through the camera and there they could see human legs. Whoever was outside was talking in the voice of Kira's husband. Kira thought that her husband must have found a way to get out of here. She quickly gets up and goes to open the door, but Madeline stops her and says, you can't open this door. I know that your husband is not outside. Kira didn't believe Madeline. That's why Madeline says you can test him. You ask him something about which only you or your husband knows. Kira asks a person standing outside about a book, about which she should have known, but when the person standing outside doesn't answer, they understand that he is the watcher. When he doesn't open the door, the watcher breaks the camera outside. All the watchers were angry. They were going to break the mirror outside their house, but they all stand in front of the mirror. After doing this, the watchers stopped breaking the mirror and they didn't come to kill them. A lot of bad things happened to them last night. Daniel and Mina decide to tell Madeline the truth that they went into the pit. She becomes furious at it because they have broken a rule. Madeline throws all the stuff taken from the pit back into it and now Mina will stay here even though she doesn't want to. Time passes and the weather changes too. It is now winter, but they are still stuck here. Mina goes daily to find a way out, but doesn't find any. She has made a map and believes that one day she will complete it. They are not getting proper food because of the winter and their mental condition is getting worse due to the lack of food. In all this, Madeline and Daniel get into a fight. He leaves Madeline and Mina outside in anger and takes Kira into the safe house and locked it. It was about to dark. Madeline and Mina knock the door and beg Daniel to open the door, but he didn't open the door. Now it was dark and they have to stand under a dense tree to escape. They were hearing the voices of the watchers. At this time, the audience is also shown a glimpse of the watchers along with Mina and Madeline. They were tall, 
thin and dangerous. They come out of their holes and reach the safe room to see the humans. When they don't see Mina and Madeline there, they start finding them in the forest to eat them. As the creatures went far, Madeline and Mina get a chance to return to their safe house. This time, they knock the door hard, and Daniel opens the door for them. They were panicked because they have seen those creatures. Madeline says to everyone, I lied to you that I got stuck here actually. I have come here in search of these creatures, because I read in the books that these creatures are fairies. When I come here and saw them, I realized they are monsters, and smart as well, and they can take on any appearance. The one I saw took my appearance. His hair was scattered, and there were dark circles under his eyes. I guessed from their actions that they learned something new every day to become more like us. That's why they daily come and observe us and start doing what we do. During this, the door was knocked again. The creatures were talking like them, and they want to come inside. They can't open the door, but if they don't, nothing will happen. The creatures have enough power to break the iron door and come inside. They need to hide somewhere, but can't think of a place. Then, suddenly, Daniel notices the ground. It was uneven, and when he removes the carpet, he discovers a bunker. They move inside the bunker without wasting time, and then close it. They were surprised that the bunker had been there for a long time, and they hadn't discovered it. There were many facilities in the bunker, food for thousands of days, TVs, technology, and other supplies. Mina wants to know who made this place, so she turns on the computer. There wasn't internet on the computer, but data was saved. When they open it, they find out that Dr. Martin had made it. The professor knows about these creatures. He wanted to do research on them, that's why he made this bunker. He lived in this bunker. He brought humans in the greed of money, then left them in the upside room and hide in this bunker at night. Those monsters later eat those humans. During his research, Dr. Martin tells that those creatures weren't monsters, but fairies who lived with humans. But then they deceived them. They escaped while trapping them here in the forests. They lost their magic and feathers because of living underground for so many years. Moreover, he mentions that during his research, he discovered a different type of fairy that can come out of the holes, even in the light. She was nice and didn't kill Martin, so he brought her here. That fairy learned everything while living with Martin, but after some time, they get into a fight. The computer H has so many videos, and Martin has told something in each video. Mina just wants to know that what happened in the end. So she plays the last video, in which she sees that the professor was about to kill himself and that fairy. But before dying, he told the way out of the forest for the people who were stuck in this forest. He says the direction in which the birds fly in the evening. If they will run in that direction, they can leave this forest. He said in his recorded message that if anyone succeeds in escaping from this forest, then go to the university and destroy my research. Some secrets should remain secrets. I made a huge mistake coming here. I can't build the world I dreamed of. I couldn't keep humans and fairies together. Still, they spent the night happily since they found a way out. They come out of the bunker and see that the Watchers have destroyed their safe house. Now they move on the way out of the forest. The birds about which the professor told will fly in the evening, but they have to leave the forest before the sun sets. So Mina frees the parrot she had. They start moving in the direction of the parrot. They find a grave on the way, seeing this grave. Madeline says there was a time when they lived with humans, but the humans deceived them and left them here in the forests. Now, because the fairies have lost their feathers and magic, so they can't escape from this forest. They reach a stream while walking, and now they can escape through this stream, and it was evening. The watchers were now coming out of their holes. Before they move far from here, while sitting in Martin's boat, Daniel meets his companion John. He was injured, and Daniel moves ahead for his help. The rest of the people sit in the boat. Before Daniel returns, they realize that the person Daniel sought help from wasn't human, but a fairy disguised in human attire, who now have taken Daniel's getup in front of their eyes. They can't do anything for Daniel, and that fairy killed him while leaving a mark on his forehead. They find out that fairies can't cross this stream, and they finally reach the city while crossing the stream. The scene cuts, and we are shown that Mina has come to Martin's university to destroy his data, as he told before she deletes his research data. She finds out a new thing, that when human and fairies lived together thousands of years ago, they even get married and have kids who are called hybrids. 
She also finds out that Madeline, whom she met there, was Professor's wife. She becomes confused as to why Madeline didn't tell her this. To discuss the situation, she goes to Kira. She tells her that Madeline, whom we met in the forest, was actually Professor Martin's wife. But she didn't tell us because she wasn't human. She was a fairy who can change appearances. Kira is surprised to hear this. In reality, Professor's wife, Madeline, died many years ago from lung cancer. The professor loved her so much that he wanted to live with her again. That's when the professor discovered those fairies. He made that fairy look like Madeline while showing her his wife's picture. As Mina was recounting all this, she realizes she's telling it to Madeline. Not Kira, the one who disguised herself as Kira makes the real Kira unconscious when she arrives. After it, she moves ahead to attack Mina so that her secret will remain a secret. Before she kills Mina, she says I was different in the forest and all the fairies made fun of me. I can come out in the daylight as well, so they throw me out in this anger. Mina says, you weren't just different, you were special. You're a hybrid, meaning you're half human and half fairy. This is the reason you can live with both humans and fairies. And because of this, you escaped from that forest. As Mina told her the truth, Madeline gets her feathers and magic back. After it, she flies while leaving Mina there. The story shows a few weeks later. Mina went to her sister because she was scared after the forest incident. Now she wants to live with her sister. She tells her sister, I think that fairy still chases me. Mina's sister says, don't worry, nothing will happen. In the last scene of the story, a girl is shown outside Mina's house. She is none other than Fairy Madeline, who is living as a girl in their world. The story ends with this scene, 